Hello everyone! Today I'm going to do my November favourites. I don't know why that sounded so robotic. I'm going to do my November favourites! Yay! Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is a perfume. Now, as you know, I'm quite selective with perfumes and I'm also kind of fussy. This one I have had in my collection for a long time and I rediscovered it the other day. It is the Molecule 01 perfume. One thing you will notice is that it doesn't have a lid, which does kind of bother me because if you're throwing it in your handbag or you push down on it, then it's going to come out. Like, I don't really understand why they would think oh let's make this amazing scent and not give it a lid unless there was a lid and I just don't have it anymore but I'm pretty sure it did not come with a lid it looks like it's called oi 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 which is what I like to call it even though I think it's just o one one o one something it just looks like it says oi 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 so I like to call this my oi 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 perfume which is a bit of a mouthful and it's not actually what it's called this is basically a single ingredient which adapts to people differently so this could smell completely different on yourself as you smell it to how someone else smells it which is kind of scary because if you put it on and you think it smells amazing someone could walk past you and think you smell like crap so I did have to wear this a few times be like do I smell nice does this smell okay but it's had the thumbs up from almost everyone I know so I've been wearing this and loving it it's quite a woody smell on myself as I smell it um, and it's quite a nice one for autumn winter so I have been really enjoying wearing this so if you are interested in giving an experimental perfume a try then definitely try this or you know it's a nice gift for someone and just hope that you're not the person that that will smell like poo when you wear this okay the next thing is also scented as are a lot of things in the product world this next product is because of Miss Tanya Burr and I was at her house um, not too long ago and she had a big stash of Christmassy winter candles that she was going to blog about and one of them was a Laura Mercier candle and she said this is probably one of my favourite winter candles, give it a sniff, smelt it, fell in love with it, went out and bought it the next day, it's that nice and it is the warm roasted chestnut candle now it comes in this black glass container with a lid which I think is really nice although I do find lids on candles really annoying because apart from you know if you need to transport the candle there's just no need to have a lid really what's the purpose of a lid? I'm not too sure. My brother actually doesn't like the smell of this. I was burning this in my room last night and he came in and he was like, it smells weird in here. But it's not a boy's taste in scent. It smells a lot like gingerbread. Um, it smells basically like warm chestnuts roasting on an open fire. <laughs> it's not your typical spicy Christmassy scent, but it's definitely a Christmas scent and it just warms my soul. Not that my soul needs warming, that's quite satisfying. Now I know why there's a lid. Next thing I've been loving is something from Rimmel and it is the Wake Me Up Concealer. Now as you may or may not know, I am the Wake Me Up Foundation's biggest fan ever um, for the summertime. Not so much the wintertime as I feel like it's a little too glisteny and you could end up looking like Edward Cullen in the sunlight on a wintry day. So I've been using this as my concealer. I had forgotten that I had this and it was right at the bottom of my makeup stash and I had a reaction um, around my eyes recently, an allergic reaction to glitter which sucks. <laughs> I basically found out that anything past shimmer left my eyes very irritated. I had red under my eyes, like red dry circles, really really dry, really sore and it was really really bad so for like two weeks I had to go with nothing on my face pretty much and I had to very sparingly put anything under my eyes or near my eyes um, and then I sort of wanted something light and with an anti-fatigue effect to go underneath the eye and also something to brighten. So I went back to this and I just really really like it. The coverage is good, it doesn't feel too heavy, it's not cakey and it does brighten underneath your eyes. I've got it on today and I just really like it. Radiant Glow, that's what I needed. After my eyes got damaged by glitter I needed a Radiant Glow. Speaking of eyes and my eyes being damaged it was sadly due to this product which I absolutely love 
Um, it is the Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow quad in Dolce Vita. It was sadly this uh, glittery shade down here in the bottom left hand corner. I just can't wear that one anymore. It's, it's just a much thicker shimmer than the other colours in the palette. But um, I have just been loving Charlotte Tilbury makeup at the moment. This quad has um, a really pretty shimmery champagne, um, a sort of red, brown and then a more ashy brown and they're all shimmer colours and they are beautiful. It's not cheap but it is really super pretty and maybe you can pop it on your Christmas list. I just sadly cannot use this one anymore, which sucks. Sticking with Charlotte Tilbury, because I have been loving it so much, I also have this lipstick. Firstly, the packaging has a lot of rose gold in it, which is a plus, really. It just, the packaging, although people say that you should never judge a book by its cover, I very often judge makeup products by their packaging because it's kind of hard not to. Um, so this is rose gold lipstick. Beautiful. It's not just the packaging that I absolutely love, it's everything about this lipstick. This is the colour Night Crimson. It's a really dark, plummy red, so perfect for autumn winter. And because I've been loving these shades so much recently, I just had to give this a try. Okay, next is a blush, and this is a blush again that I had in my makeup collection, and it was right at the bottom and I'd completely forgot it existed. But when it comes to winter, I like to stay a little bit further away from the corals and the orange shades of when I have slightly tan skin. And I tend to go more towards the light baby pinks, you know, as if you've been outside and you've got a flush of cold and you're all, you know, flushed. I found this one and it is by Mi and it's M-I-I -I Cosmetics and it didn't look anything special to me if I'm honest, it's just you know a small square black compact. Opened it up, little mirror and the most gorgeous pink shade I have probably ever put on my face. I absolutely love this colour so much. It's a matte, so there's no shimmer in this one, so it's nice to wear on days where you don't want it to be too obvious that you've got any blusher on, you literally want it to look like you've been outside in the cold and you've just come back in again. And it's also really nice to wear with bronzer and also with highlighter. I've actually got it on my cheeks today. It can be as subtle as you want it to, or you can build it up and make it a lot more darker, or literally give it the lightest feathering on your cheeks and it just looks so pretty. It's also massively pigmented, it's not chalky at all and really super easy to blend. I just really like this and I'm gonna have to look into getting some more of these I think. And also checking out the brand a bit more because I did not know this brand existed until I found this in my makeup collection. So yeah, big thumbs up for this. Okay, so there is a little bit of a reoccurring theme going on through this favourites and that is finding hidden products in my drawers of makeup. <laughs> so the next thing I found was a lip gloss. Because I have been loving baby pink on my cheeks, I've also been pairing that with baby pink lips. And the lip gloss I've been wearing pretty much every time I've worn a pink lip is this one, which is the Rouge Bunny Rouge, and it is in the colour Asia Royal Jelly XXX Lip Plump. It's also a lip plumping gloss as well. Now I don't particularly believe that this plumps my lips. It does feel nice and tingly but not too tingly like the Soap and Glory ones which literally make my lips feel like they're going to explode off my face. I really like it. It's a gorgeous colour. The next thing is something hair related and this landed on my doorstep not very long ago but I love it. Now you all know how much I love to have big volumised back combed roots, hair, I like my hair to be big basically. This is the L'Oreal Paris Studio Line hashtag text texture styling volume super sizing spray. That is a mouthful. Didn't think too much of this again, just thought okay that looks interesting. But this is brilliant. It gives back combed volume which I like the sound of but it's also a matte texture so it's not shiny it's not wet it just feels very matte and it has a nice hold it's not too firm it's not sticky and I really like it I've used it in my hair today let me just put a bit more in look look at that whoa well that kind of speaks for itself two random things now the first one is very random but you know me I like my sweets and treats and random goodies so the first is Maryland Gooeys now this is gonna sound really weird but I actually do really like these a lot I sent Alfie on a mission to get me some treats from the supermarket and he came back with these 
um, and he got me the hazelnut version, which is essentially a chocolate chip cookie with the centre full of Nutella. And when you bite into it, the Nutella is like gooey and delicious and it just melts in your mouth and you're just like, what is this? It's amazing, I must eat the whole packet in one go. And at first I was like, oh no, hazelnut, because I'm not the biggest fan of nuts. Ha ha. But then when I realised it was like Nutella inside, I was sold completely. They have three different types, I think. These ones are the triple chocolates, so they've got white chocolate, and in the middle they've got chocolate goo. I could talk about these forever, but the more I talk about them, the more my mouth is watering. I've not opened this packet yet, so I'm gonna refrain from opening them, and I'm just gonna put them down. Last thing is a random thing, and it is, let me see if I can just hold these up. I'm gonna call these dolly shoes, because I don't know what else to call them. They're the sorts of shoes that you would wear when you went to school, like primary school, and you'd have your little frilly socks and things. Now I got these from Office. I've just been really liking these shoes because I think they look so cute with dresses, skirts, tight, and tights. And they're just quite a nice alternative to trainers and boots in the winter. And they look adorable with socks, which you also know I've been loving. Frilly socks, patterned socks, socks with dogs on, socks with guinea pigs on just socks and obviously you can see the cute socks through the holes and they just remind me of like school shoes and I just think they're so cute for example I'm going to be wearing these with the outfit I have on now which is a dress, long sleeves, comes to just above my knee, tights and these and I just think they're so cute and I want more of these in my collection Okay, so those are all the things I've been loving through November. Please let me know in the comments what you've been loving, or if you've been loving any of the same things as me, or if you go out and buy any of the things I've mentioned and then you've ended up loving them as much as I have. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you very soon. Goodbye! Um. La 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 and go to more, go to more wards the, to, that doesn't make sense. Stay. Stay. Oh my gosh. Fringe. Participate. I don't really tend to wear lip gloss a lot. My dad just sneezed. Pump. Pa lip pump one more. I feel like my, oh no. That is, uh, uh, don't forget to give the, 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 Guys, can you cut me out of the call? You're still there, chummy. <laughs> End the call. <laughs> You're still there, chummy. <laughs> oh, just having a Skype chat there with. This is one of my favourite things. It's a cute vintage China fawn, which I picked up on Etsy, and I absolutely love it. Again, more fairy lights, this time a mistletoe themed. And I also have a mistletoe themed star 